Let's learn the names of different rooms and places in a house. Canadian edition. <laughs> At the front of the house, we have the front yard. Front yard. The front yard. <laughs> this private small road in the front of the house is the driveway. The driveway. It leads to the garage. The garage. This is a double door garage. While this is a single door garage. And this is a two door garage. Over here, we have a walkway. A walkway that leads to the front door. Walking up these steps, we reach the front porch. The front porch. This is where my family leaves their shovels. Now, we are at the front door. The front door. The front door. Let's ring the doorbell. The doorbell. When you enter the house, you see the foyer. The foyer. Or entrance hall. Entrance hall. Now, don't forget to take off your shoes and put your coats away. Lighting the foyer are some chandeliers. Some chandeliers. Like the song. This room is called the parlor room. The parlor room. Or reception room. Reception room. This is pretty much a fancy family room. In this room, you can find a piano. A piano. An armchair, an armchair, and a sofa, a sofa. Right next to the parlor room, you can find the dining room, the dining room. This is where we eat dinner together. We eat at the dining table, the dining table, and we sit on the dining chair, the dining chair. Are you thirsty? If you want some water, you can get some at the water cooler. The water cooler. Here is the living room. The living room. This is where we watch TV and movies together. At the end of the couch, the couch, we have an end table. An end table. Such a unique name, right? <sighs> Are you cold? How about we turn on the gas fireplace? The gas fireplace. To be honest, I prefer a wood burning fireplace. A wood burning fire. Against the wall, you see a buffet cabinet. A buffet cabinet. This is where I hide my deepest secret. For the last room on the main floor, we have the kitchen. The kitchen. This is where we make and cook delicious food. At least, this is where I try to cook delicious food. Yes, and you can't cook. Yes, chef. <laughs> Stay tuned. Now, before we go upstairs, here you can see a half bathroom. A half bathroom because it's missing a shower or bathtub. Now, let's go up the stairway to the second floor. To the left, you enter the home office. The home office. This is where people can work from home. You can also find a fire extinguisher and a fire mask. The next room is the master bedroom. The master bedroom. The master bedroom is the biggest bedroom in the house. In the master bedroom, there is a walk-in closet. A walk-in closet. You can find a king-size mattress. A king-size mattress. A bed frame. A bed frame. And the headboard. The headboard. Two nightstands. Storage bench. A storage bench where you can store things, of course. There is also a master bathroom. A master bathroom. In the master bathroom, you can see a bathtub, a bathtub, the a shower stall, shower stall, and a sink, actually, two sinks. 
this bathroom and the master bathroom are full bathroom. Full bathroom. They have a shower or a bathtub, a sink, and a toilet. Next up, the laundry room. The laundry room. This is where you wash your clothes. We have a washing machine, a washing machine to wash your clothes, and a dryer, a dryer to dry your clothes. Clothes. These are the guest bedroom. <coughs> the guest bedroom where guest or your parents or children can stay and sleep. Here we have a bookshelf. A bookshelf. And there is a full size mattress. A full size mattress. This mattress over here is a queen size mattress. A queen size mattress. Here, picture with a bunch of different mattress sizes. Now, let's go downstairs to the basement. To the basement. At the basement, we can find the family room. The family room. Or the playroom. The playroom. This is where we can relax, play some video games. Like, let's play some Halo 2. This room is like an informal living room. We can also find the bar. The bar. We don't have drinks. So we got mustard. <laughs> At the end of the basement, we can find the gym. The this gym. Is where we work down. Yeah. This is where you can find the stationary bike. The stationary bike. And some dumbbells. Some dumbbells. To the right, you can find the boiler room. The boiler room. This is where you can find the furnace. The furnace that heats up the whole house. And the boiler. The boiler. Now, let's go to the backyard. The backyard. Here, you can find the patio. The patio. The shed. The shed. And the fence. If it wasn't winter, you would also find our garden. Garden. Not every house has these exact rooms. Some houses have more rooms, like sunroom, or attic, nursery room, a cellar, and many, many more rooms. Maybe even a dungeon. And of course, houses around the world have different rooms, different furnitures, lots of big differences. So not everybody's houses look like this. This is just a house near the city of Toronto in Canada. My house in Seoul, South Korea is very different and much, much smaller than this house. However, it is just as comfortable because it is my house. How are the houses in your country or city? Are they the same? Are they much, much different from this one? Comment below. I would love to learn more about all the different houses and rooms around the world. We just looked at different parts of a house. Hmm, but how about different parts of the human body? Like the face or the body itself? Click right over here to watch that video.